Remember that Brewer's Revolution we mentioned earlier? Well, it was really the Pilsner beers that stood on the front line. By the beginning of the 19th century, brewmasters for the first time had some of the tools they needed to reliably control the quality of their product. But since lagers needed a cold place for aging, it wasn't until the introduction of refrigeration that the Industrial Revolution changed brewing forever. In 1842, a large brewery opened in Pilsen, Bohemia. Contrary to contemporary tastes, it was devoted entirely to a bottom fermenting beer. The result, a golden colored, light dry lager, was an immediate hit. In fact, it's remained so popular that 150 years later, the town of Pilsen still lends its name to the beer we enjoy, Pilsner. The Pilsner's char characteristics is the hoppy nose, when you, when before you drink it, you smell it, and um, it should have a nice uh, hoppy nose in it. And uh, of, uh, during drinking, you also should feel the, the hop in it. But it should, it, uh, when you when you finished, it should not have um, a, a hanging hoppy uh, thing in the throat. Uh, so uh, it should be nice from the start until the end with a nice hoppy character. With a medium hop flavor and a light to medium body, the Pilsner style has been imitated in every part of the world. The better examples have a clean herbal aroma and a dry finish. 